So we have been working on this Project Planner AI application, and I wanted to kind of share with you some of the new features that we added to this, just to kind of inspire you, but also kind of talk about the component library system that we're using that makes this much, much easier to add features with. All right, so let me just kind of walk you through what happens with the new features. So I'm gonna go ahead and say an app to help track recipes, and I can say a stay at home mom. And this is gonna create the plan like it's done before. I've demoed this multiple times on my channel, but there are some major changes. So the first change is that we added a work items tab and basically we're converting this project to be a project management tool that has a lot of AI integration with it. So when we have the features that get generated over here, we have the required features, recommended features. When these things finish, they will generate work items and they will put them up in this tab over here. So clicking on this, you'll see that we have a bunch of already generated work items, or you can call them tasks or like issues. And if you look over here, we have five that are in high priority and we have 10 that are normal status. So from the get-go, when you get your project plan, you can just start working on these items yourself and understand what you're trying to build. So if you can dive into one of these, some features that we added were the ability to change it from to do, in progress, or done. Uh, we can change it from a type to a bug or a task. And then you can also change the priority. And then over here, you can modify the description of the work item. But the main thing I wanna talk about in this video, there's other features that we added too, I might save for another video, is by using ShadCN, we were able to quickly build this really awesome table simply by copying and pasting some code into a project, right? So I have the ability to filter by anything. I can say notes here. I can go here and change the status to say only give me the to-dos. I can say give me the priority of high. And then also for type, if I wanted to change one of these to be like a bug, let's just go like this and I'll change the type to a bug. That'll show up right here with these filters. So this table also has the ability to view different columns. So I can like turn off the visibility for status or turn it back on. I can sort by different columns too. So I can sort descending by title or descending. I can hide this entire title, which is uh, pretty cool. And again, I didn't have to code any of this. This is just like built into ShadCN. By the way, I'm working on this side project with Hosna, who is another YouTuber who does React content and Next.js content. So go ahead, go follow her. Her link will be in my description below. So my main point of this video is I wanna kind of walk you through how you can move fast using ShadCN, other than just going to this components tab and finding the table component. They actually have a ton of examples and all these examples are found in a GitHub repo. So the way we kind of implemented that table is we went to this tasks tab and notice they have the exact same table. It's all outlined for you. And this is a great working example of how you can build out a project management dashboard. It's the same idea. You can go ahead and search by like TCP card and that'll search for this. You can do the statuses and the priorities. You can reset these and you can view them. Some additional things that they have, which I actually removed from our table, is the ability to do multiple selections here. You can apply changes to those four records if you want to. And then also over here, you can do commands, right? So you can do edit, make a copy, favorite, label. And at the bottom, there's pagination. So a lot of these features that were built in, um, I went ahead and just like stripped it down to the bare minimum. I like to keep stuff minimal. I think it just helps a product be easier to use. So then if you want to actually find this code, all you have to do is go to the GitHub repo here. And so where you can find all the code for ShadCN is on this ShadCN UI repo. And if you go to apps, www, I go to app directory. You can see there's an examples folder here. And then inside this examples directory, there is a tasks. Okay, so you can go to tasks, you can go to components, and here is all the information for that data table. So the cool thing is you can clone this repo locally and you can just copy this entire tasks folder and place it into your own project. And most of everything is gonna work exactly how you saw it on the Shad C and demo website. Assuming that you have the correct um, packages installed and you do the correct Shad CN installs for the components, it's actually really easy to get started. And the benefit of that is that all the code is just in your project, so you can like customize it as you need to. Um, you can dive into any of the stuff, such as like you can dive into the, the columns. This is where like the column definitions are, where you can go and you can add new columns. Like for example, I went ahead and just comment all this out because we don't want the ability to select rows. I basically copied some of these and modified them to add different columns for priority and status and type. As you can see here, status, priority, and type. And then also in the column, this is where they have the actions defined. So over here, they have a data table row action. So let's go find that. This is this component. You can kind of look through here and see all of those actions that they had, like edit, make a copy, favorites. The toolbar is this one. So if you want to go and change how like any of the top filters are working, you can modify those as needed. 
So that's kind of the approach that we took on this project. Anytime that you want to build a page, I would recommend going through these examples, search through what they already have, because I guarantee there's going to be some type of component or page here that you're going to be using in your own project. Like for example, they have a great example of how to do different forms with some side navigation. And it's great because you can just like copy and paste this directly into your project and move super fast with building out new pages. Anyway, that's all I want to kind of share with you guys. I hope you guys, if you haven't heard about Shad CN, just go give it a try. It's really great. I like using it myself. And also this integrates really well with the V0 AI. I don't know if you use V0, but basically there's this cool AI project that allows you to generate pages and it uses Shad CN components out of the box. So for example, if I wanted to say, create me a settings page where someone can change their display name, I'll go ahead and run that. And we'll compare the results of V0 to our account page. So right now I created this page, super simple, basically allows you to change your display name in the application. And down here at the bottom, you will see some designs basically get created for you. And these are all built using Shad CN components, which is another great integration, right? So if I wanted to use what I'm seeing here, I can simply just go to this code tab and click it. I can get all the code and more specifically, if I wanted to just install this really easily, I can just click on this link here I can go and run it down at the bottom and that's going to pull in the entire component and put it in my components directory. So at this point, ShadCN, it's a lot more than just a component library. It's like a whole ecosystem if you kind of use these other tools. And honestly, I haven't been happier using a component library. I've used like other things like Chakra, a Material UI, but there's something about ShadCN that just works better for me. Anyway, I hope you guys learned something new watching my video. Leave me a comment if there's any other features you think we should add to this projectplannerai.com application. And I also have a Discord channel you guys are welcome to join if you want to find a place to hang out or talk to some other developers.